I'm Miss Jessica. I'm the new youth services librarian at Maury Luchin's Memorial Library. Nice to meet you. So today's story time is going to be mostly about my favorite books. Um, I have more than three favorites because I love picture books. But these are my top three favorite ones. Dragon Will Love Tacos. Iscargu. And you will be my friend. So there are three of my favorites. They're not, they're not the, my only three favorites, but these are three of my favorites. So let's get started. Okay. So we clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With your friend the story time, we clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. All right. So now what I want you to do is a finger play called open and shut them. So open, shut them, open, shut them, and give your hands a big clap. And then open, shut them, open, shut them, and put your hands in your lap. So right now I have three books, like I said. Um, so let's start with Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love, they love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortilla, tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? Why do you think dragons love tacos? Do you love tacos? I love tacos. But wait! As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy small salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. And that book says, No Spicy Salsa, A Guide to Dragon Cuisine by Alan Puff. A few things can happen. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, check. Lettuce, check. Cheese, check. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco stop toppings? He's pretending he's dead. I'm guessing he doesn't like them. Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. Do you guys know what charades are? Charades are when you pretend to do something, like um, running, and someone has to get, guess what you're doing. You can't usually can't use words. Some people cheat and use words, but you're not supposed to. The only things dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos. 
pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, huh, dragons love tacos. Hey, dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? See the boat full of tacos? <laughs> and look, the dragon is circling an event on the calendar that says taco party. Actually very hard to read, but just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations. Look how cool those taco bones are. <laughs> I've never seen a taco bowl before. He has a t-shirt that that dragon has that says, I love tacos. And I like this dragon with a lampshade on his head. Goofy, goofy dragon. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. <gasps> Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? Uh-oh. Let's see what it says. Totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. <gasps> What's going to happen? Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch crunch. <gasps> Goodness. Too late. <laughs> what happened? Everything's on fire. Oh no. What happened to the house? Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe... Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. Well, I don't know if I'd trust them having tacos. I'd be scared I'd accidentally give them spicy ones again. I do, I do like this dragon right here with the drill and the hard hat on. See how silly? <laughs> After all, dragons love tacos. So did you like that one? That was a good one, huh? All right, so let us get on our feet. And I'm gonna have to move my chair a little bit because I'm tall. And so for in order for you to see me, I have to push the chair back or my head's cut off, see? Head cut off. <laughs> so everyone stands up and then we're gonna do everyone can march, march, march. You might've done this before. If not, this is new to you, that's fine. So we'll do everyone can march, march, march. So what we're going to do is just listen to the words and then make the movements that I'm saying. Um, we can change the movements that we're doing. Um, in person, it's easier. You can just suggest me something and we can do it as long as it's not something that's going to get someone hurt. So let's do everyone can march, march, march. Everyone can march, march, march. And then we have to stop. Okay, so the next one we'll do is everyone can clap, clap, clap. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. And now we make a stop. And the next one we can do, how about everyone can dance, 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 dance crazy. Everyone can dance, dance, dance. And now we make a stop. All right, so the next one is you can sit down, you can stand up, whatever you feel like doing. I'm going to sit down and I have to get a little closer so you can see my hands. Okay, so we have five little fishies. Oh, your fingers are gonna be fishies. They're swimming in the sea, okay? But now we're only gonna talk about one fishy. So we have one little fishy swimming in the sea. 
one, bobble, 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 and pop. This one you can do with many different things. You can talk about colors or count or just counting or counting and colors. But in order for um, this not to be too long because I want to fit two other books, we're going to keep it on the shorter side. So let's pretend we're counting just two of the five fishies. So we go one, two, bobble, 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 pop. We have three little fishies swimming in the sea. One, two, three. Bobble, 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 and pop. We have four little fishies swimming in the sea. One, two, three, four. Bobble, 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 and pop. And we have five. Five. Let's count. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> so five little fishies swimming in the sea. One, two, three, four, five. Bobble, 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 and pop. Think you can do this number? What's this number? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Six little fishies swimming in the sea. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bobble, 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 and pop. Good job. Now, the next book I have is Escargot. I get super silly when I read this book. And I use a French, a very, very bad French accent, but a French accent nonetheless. Um, it's a story by Dashka Slater. It's about a snail. It was very silly. You'll see. All right. Bonjour. I see you are staring at me. I don't mind. My name is Escargot, and I have such a beautiful French snail that everybody stares at me. I like his little beret. My son actually has the stuffed animal for escargot. Should have brought it in. I forgot about it. Right now, I am traveling to the salad at the end of this book. It is a beautiful salad with croutons and a light vinaigrette. You should come. I just need a little push to help me start. So we're going to push him. Push him up the table. Oh, he's on the table. While we are traveling, we can talk. Tell me, what do you think is my be most beautiful part? My shell, my neck, my tentacles. Oh la la, it's so hard to choose. That is because all of escargot is magnifique. You can kiss me if you want. He's staring at his reflection in the glass. Let's talk about our favorite animals. Is yours the dog? The cat, the platypus, the wildebeest, the limo, the hippopotamus, the snail. Wait, before you answer, I must tell you something sad. So sad I might cry. Will you stroke my shell just until I feel better? I'm going to stroke his shell, like pet him. Can I pet him? Okay, now, I will tell you the very sad thing. Nobody ever says their favorite animal is the snail. Oh. How sad he looks. Perhaps you think snails are slimy, Escargot. You are too slimy to be my favorite animal. Or contraire. The trails I make as I travel to the salad are shimmery trails of. What would you call it? Not slime. More like shimmery trails of shimmery stuff. But enough about me. Do you also make a shimmery trail? What is your favorite kind of salad? You look like the kind of intelligent person who enjoys a salad with croutons and a light vinaigrette and absolutely no carrots. The kind of person who might say, my favorite animal is the snail. But perhaps you think snails are shy, Escargot. You are too shy to be my favorite animal. Au contraire, I'm quite fierce. This is the face I make to scare a lion, or a wild boar, or a carrot that sneaks into my salad. Look at his face. <laughs> Can you also make a fierce face to scare away the carrot? Now make a scary face to scare away the carrot. Uh, maybe we should roar at it too. You're gonna roar at the carrot? Roar! 
that was a very fierce face and a very loud roar. He's hiding. Do you want me to come out? Really? Then you must say, come out, Escargot. Come out and I promise I'll never put a carrot in your salad. Come out and I will kiss you. So we gotta say, come out, Escargot. Come out and I promise I'll never put a carrot in your salad. Come out and I will kiss you. Here I am. Don't forget my kiss. I kiss you back. Mwah! Am I your favorite animal yet? Perhaps you think snails are slow, Escargot. You are too slow to be my favorite animal. Oh, contraire. I just don't like to hurry. A French snail likes to relax before enjoying salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. But I, if I wanted to, I could run faster than a cheetah. You don't believe me? I will wish you to the salad to the end of the boutique. Whoever gets there first will be the fantastically fast champion of the world. And also, your favorite animal. On your mark, you get set, go. <coughs> Ooh, tickle in my throat. Do you see how fast I am? I am like the wind itself. I just need to rest for one second. Can you blow on me to cool me off? Got blow on him. Okay, I am ready now for the final sprint. Do you think he is fast? Or do you think he just thinks he's fast? <laughs> I win! Oh, you are here too? I die. We are both the champions. We are both magnifique. Let us celebrate by eating salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. Bon appétit. But this is not the right salad. This salad has a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. And what's that? And carrots. <gasps> Escargot does not eat carrots. Escargot has never eaten a carrot. Escargot will now make a fierce face at the carrot. The carrot is not running away. Perhaps you would like to eat the carrot. Go ahead, try it. I will make you a deal. If you will try it, I will try it too. On the count of three, we will take a very, very small bite of the carrot. One, two, three. The carrot was... Actually, delicious. So delicious that I might have forgotten to share. You probably won't choose me as your favorite animal now. You will choose instead the baboon or the koala or the earwig. His cute little face. But that is okay. C'est la vie. I will tell you a secret. You are very beautiful. Even if you don't make a shimmery trail. You are very fast. Almost as fast as escargot. And you can make a very fierce face. Don't show me. I remember. You are magnifique. In fact, you are my favorite animal. And so I kiss you. Mwah! The end. There's actually a new one that's out too. I, they're both really great, but this one's my favorite. Okay. All right, let's get up out of our seats just to get the wiggles out. Okay, this one's a little silly. Um, so let's just get up. I have to push my chair back a little bit and we're gonna do go bananas. So put your hands in the air. Oh, I gotta go far back, you gotta see my hands. That's what happens when you're tall. <laughs> okay, so bananas unite. So we're going to peel banana. Peel, peel, banana, cut, bananas, cut, cut, bananas, mash, bananas, mash, mash, bananas, eat, bananas, eat, eat, bananas. We start from the beginning because like this song is really fun. So you want to do it more than once. So bananas unite. So it's peel, 
bananas, peel, peel, bananas, cut, bananas, cut, cut, bananas, mash, bananas, mash, mash, bananas, eat, bananas, eat, eat, bananas. Then you end with go bananas, and then you can dance a little bit if you want to. If not, that's okay too. All right. So the next one we're gonna do. Let me pull my chair so you can actually see me. Otherwise, I'll look like I'm all the way in a different state. All right. So let's do a classic song, Wheels on the Bus, okay? So, wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all through the town the people on the bus go up and down up and down up and down the people on the bus go up and down all through the town the mama on the bus or daddy or grandma or grandpa or auntie goes shh 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 sh, sh. the mama on the bus goes shh Shh, shh, all through the town. The baby on the bus goes wah, 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 wah. The baby on the bus goes wah, 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 all through the town. All right, so I did that accidentally in the wrong order. It's supposed to be baby crying and then the mommy going shh, but it's okay. No one's perfect, right? All right, so... This is my last book today. Um, it's called You Will Be My Friend by Peter Brown. Lucy was very excited when she woke up. Mom, I've decided I'm gonna make a new friend today. Isn't that exciting? That is exciting, Lucille. But how do you plan on finding a new friend? Mom, the forest is crawling with bug critters. Surely one of them will want to be my friend. This is going to be great. So Lucy went outside to begin her search. Good luck, Lucille. Bye, Mom. I cannot wait to make a new friend. We're going to do cartwheels and climb trees and have picnics and go swimming and have a dance party. Lucy's search got off to a great start when a nice critter invited her to play. Rabbit. What animal is that? A frog. The frog goes, Rabbit. Oh, 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 yes, I'd love to join you! Woohoo! But things didn't work out. What happened? Yeah, she jumped in the pond and all the water came out. <laughs> Not the best of days. <laughs> oh, well, there are plenty of other critters in the forest. It didn't take long for Lucy to find another friendly looking animal. I'll just go up and introduce myself. Munch, munch. I'm sorry I didn't mean to climb into your breakfast. That friendship didn't work out either. So what happened there? She accidentally climbed into his breakfast. How would you like if a friend climbed into your cereal when you're eating? Probably wouldn't be that happy about it, huh? <laughs> Lucy did her best to win over the forest animals. She was helpful. Don't you worry, we'll get that nasty smell out. What's she washing? A skunk. Do you think she can make that a skunk smell good? Yeah, probably not. She asked lots of questions. So tell me, what's it like to fly? <laughs> Does the ostrich look happy? 
No, not really. And she tried to fit in with everyone she met. But Lucy was starting to feel ridiculous. She's climbing into a hole with a rabbit. She's eating wood like a beaver. Beavers don't really eat wood. She's dressing like a kangaroo. She's trying to swim under the water with the fish. She came close to making friends a few times. Thanks for inviting me to lunch. But something always went wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I ate your house. What happened there? She ate the beehive. <laughs> Lucy couldn't believe how hard it was to make a new friend. She was ready to be friends with anyone. Well, almost anyone. Squeak, 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 squeak. So she can't understand um, children. So all she hears is squeak, squeak, squeak. So she says it's hard to make friends with kids, with people. Come back! Come back here and have fun with me! That's when things got ugly. You won't get any snacks unless you start liking me right now! So she's yelling at a cheetah for running away. And she's telling a monkey that if he, if he, she'll take away his snacks if, if he doesn't start liking her. Is that nice? No. You will be my friend! I can wait. <laughs> Who is she talking to? An egg. <laughs> so she's going to wait until it hatches. Lucy tried to calm herself down. Take a deep breath, Lucy! You can do it! You can make a new friend! Just be yourself! Doesn't anybody want to be my friend? Oh, I feel bad for her. This is hopeless. It looked as if Lucy would never find a new friend. And then a funny thing happened. What's that? A flamingo. What do you think he's doing there? Or she, I can't tell. They haven't said. Squawk! Squawkity squawk! Oh my gosh, are you asking me to be your friend? Squawk! I accept! You think... You think he um he really was asking her to be her, his friend? I think so. Look at his face. He looks happy. And that's the story of how these two friends found each other. The end. <laughs> I didn't know that flamingos could do cartwheels. That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right. So, my friends, that is all. So, um, until next time, now let's do, we wave and sing goodbye. So it's like the one that we did in the beginning, but it's just with goodbye. So we clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With the friends of story time, we clap and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. With the friends of story time, we stomp and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye with the friends of story time. We wave and sing goodbye. All right, my friends, have fun. Until next time. <laughs>